Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you like anything backpacking or camping, drop down below, hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But today we're just going to be going over uh, a loadout for a solo overnight camp that I'm going to be taking on November 14th and 15th. Uh, this is going to be one of my cooler camps that I've taken. Uh, so hopefully my gear is warm enough for me. Uh, I don't have any doubts in my mind that it's going to work out, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm just kind of going to go over what I have here in my backpack. Everything that I have in this loadout uh, is what I would consider a budget loadout. I don't have anything that's super expensive. Uh, I'm not to the point yet where I need those kinds of things. Uh, typically you need more expensive items when you're going to be going out, you know, in the, in the winter when things are a little bit cooler. I'm going for that fall trip here in a couple weekends and I believe my gear is good enough to get me through that. Um, before we get started, uh, my microphone that I've been using to record lately has uh, been giving me problems. It's not working right. So I'm in the process of getting that replaced so the audio might not sound as good as it usually does uh, with that being said let's go ahead and get into the pack here so first thing I have a Kelty Red Wing 50 backpack um, this is probably the most expensive thing in my loadout it cost me like 80 something dollars it was on sale it's originally like 110 or something like that uh, but it's a great backpack it's by no means ultra light it is a little bit heavier uh, but that's because they they didn't you know skimp on the padding and stuff in the backpack it's super a super comfortable backpack to wear a uh, water bottle pouch that i have on here i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it on my back strap here or if i'm going to drop it down to my hip belt uh, we're just going to kind of see where it's most comfortable so to start off i'm going to open up the top of the bag here and go through the smaller things that i have the uh, mainly my electronic stuff i've got just a cheap light that I'm going to use, uh, you know, under my tarp kind of as like my lantern. Um, so I got that to kind of light things up at night. Uh, obviously I got a headlamp. Uh, this is just a really, really cheap Ozark Trail one from Walmart. Um, I don't use a headlamp too much besides to go to the restroom at night and stuff. Uh, so I'm not really worried about having a nice one. I did have a better one, uh, but I think I actually lost it on one of my trips. So... <laughs> I just went with a cheaper option and I can just replace them if I lose it then. So then I got my ditty bag and in here I just got all my smaller things. It's a little bit easier to keep track of things if uh, you know it's not scattered all throughout my bag. So I got a battery pack and I actually have another battery pack. I don't know if I'm actually going to take both of these. I might uh, you know <clears throat> take that out before I go on my trip. Um, I got a lighter. I might switch this out for a smaller lighter too as well. And uh, just another little flashlight to have just in case I need it. And all that goes right here in my little ditty bag. I also, on the top of this bag, uh, is where I'm keeping my water pouch. This is a Sawyer 32-ounce uh, water pouch. Um, this is what I use to collect water sometimes if I don't put it uh, straight into my water bottle. And then I have the Sawyer uh, Squeeze. Um, this is a really great water filter. Uh, this and the smaller version, the Sawyer Mini, are very, very good. The only difference between the two are the flow rates. Um, the flow rate on the Squeeze is much better than the one on the Mini. That's the reason that I've chosen this one for the camp, but I've got both of them. You can't really go wrong with either one, and they're both fairly cheap. I think it's $20 for the Mini, $30 for the Squeeze. Um, in my opinion, I would just spend the extra 10 bucks and get the Squeeze. Um, it's going to last you pretty much your whole, your whole camping life. Uh, so you can just use this, and it has a little bit better flow rate. And then the last thing in this top pouch I got is just a bunch of little carabiners uh, that I'm going to use to put up my tarp and whatnot and kind of use around the camp. So getting into the, the main bag here, I got my, my tarp, which is a gold armor tarp. Uh, these ones are fairly cheap too. Um, it's a big tarp. It's super heavy. It's by no means lightweight. Um, this tarp is, oh, 12 by 12, I think, so it's super big. I like having a lot of airy under my tarp to keep things dry and kind of hang out if it rains by some chance. And then it just provides me a lot of extra material to kind of close in around my hammock to give me some extra warmth. Uh, so far, I haven't had any problems with this. It's lasted really well. Um, it's a non-stip, uh, yeah. it's a non, <laughs> it's a rip stop. There we go. There's the words. It's a rip stop. Uh, material it prevents it from you know ripping when you're out on the trail and it's it's holding up real well uh, next i've got my pot 
Nothing special about this. I think this is a USMT, I think is what it's called. It's just, you can pick it up at like Meyer. It's an aluminum pot. It's got this that goes on top that acts as like a lid and a small bowl or cup. I plan to use it as a cup to put some coffee in on my trip. And then the bottom is just a, how big is this? Can't see the lights bad. 400 milliliter or 16 ounces is what you can hold in this. And yeah, it's a, not USMT, just UST or UTS. I don't know, one of the two. But you can get this at Meyer. Super cheap. Um, my wife actually had bought this for me because I wanted to kind of downsize. My pots I had before were really big. Uh, so this was bought just because it's a little bit lighter. Being aluminum instead of stainless steel, it makes it lighter as well as being a little bit smaller as well. Uh, my sleep system that I'm using, I'm using a uh, Wise Owl hammock. Uh, this is a what they consider an ultralight hammock. This is one of their early models when they first came out. Uh, this is just a brand that you can find on Amazon. Super cheap. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks, uh, but it's it's worked really well for me. I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. Um, <clears throat> it's been really comfortable. I've slept fine in it. It's really easy to put up, nothing hard about it. And then, you know, it's it's lasted. This is one of my older pieces of gear. And it's lasted me every trip that I've done so far, which hasn't been a whole lot, uh, but it does it work really, really well. Um, and then next, I just got my thermal socks that I have in here. Um, I didn't have any of my extra clothes. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to pack as far as extra layers, but I'm definitely taking these to put on at night. Uh, they keep my feet really, really warm. And then more into my sleep system here, we have this guy, which is a gear top under quilt for my hammock. Um, these are rated to go down to, I think it's like 40, 41 degrees. Um, is the rating on it. I have not used it in any temperatures near that, um, but I mean, when I did use it, I went on a trip and I actually had to loan it out to the guy I was with uh, because he was getting cold. His sleeping bag wasn't quite warm enough for the trip. Um, so I haven't really used this yet, but I'm planning that it'll work really well and works with my sleeping bag that I'm getting out here next, which is just a Field and Stream 30 degree bag, which has done nothing but keep me super warm. Field and Stream. Um, the zipper on these are actually really nice. I never ever have it snag or anything on me and it seems super well made uh, for such a cheap bag. I think this is a $35, $40 bag and it's rated for 30 degrees and it definitely gets down close to that. I've used this in my hammock with no underquilt, mind you, which means it's gonna be a little bit you know, cooler, obviously. I got nothing underneath me and I was in this sleeping bag only in my hammock uh, with normal layers on, pants and a, a sweater and stuff. And it kept me warm down to around 40 degrees with just this bag. So I think when I go on this tr weekend trip here in a, in a little bit, this in compounding with the uh, underquilt that I have here should be more than warm enough for me. I'll probably actually end up sweating and kind of stripping down a little bit, I'm sure, over the night. Um, so I really don't see it having any problems. Um, just to kind of go over this while we're doing this, I see, I, I go through and read reviews on the stuff that I have just to see what other people think about it. Um, and a lot of people complain about this, saying that it doesn't keep you warm down in those temperatures. This is not true. People go out there expecting probably be able to sleep in just shorts or nothing on in the sleeping bag and it's going to keep you that warm. When they rate it for 30 degrees, that's expecting you to be layered up. Um, so anytime you're looking at buying a sleeping bag, uh, make sure when you buy it, you plan on packing enough clothes for it as well for your trip. So plan accordingly. So here in the side pocket of my bag, I have uh, just a cheap folding saw that I'm taking. I'm not taking a hatchet with me this time. Uh, this is just, is this Ozark Trail, I think, maybe? I'm not sure what brand this is. I think it's an Ozark Trail hand saw. Uh, but it's got just a release here. At least it folds up nice and good. It cuts good, by no means great, but it will definitely get the job done. And it's a lot lighter than carrying my big hatchet with me uh, on this trip. Then I just have a drawstring bag here in the side pocket as well that I carry some of my steaks in there. Um, they're just aluminum Y steaks. Uh, I recommend Y steaks because they stick in the ground better, especially if the soil is loose or wet. Um, but those are really nice steaks. Uh, just a random brand off of Amazon, nothing special. Um, and then also in this bag, I have my roll of paracord that I'm taking with me. And then I have uh, some braided line that I use for my, my tarp tie out. It just works a little better. It doesn't stretch so it doesn't start to sag, you know, overnight or anything like that. Um, and then just to go over a few things here in the front yet, 
I have my Frog Togs rain jacket. I have not had to use it yet, but I always take it just in case I need it. Um, and then I have my hammock straps, which are uh, PSY hammock straps. You can get these on Amazon as well. They're pretty cheap. This was, I think, another thing that my wife might have got me, or I might have bought, bought these on my own. I'm not sure. Uh, but they work really well. Uh, they felt up. They haven't had any problems. It's just got the, like, daisy chain. Wrap it around, and then it has the selections that you can make uh, for the right amount of hang for you. And then in the front, this was something else my wife had got me uh, for my birthday as well. It's uh, just some fire starter that I'm taking, you know, just in case I need it for some reason. If stuff's too wet, just make my time a little bit easier. <laughs> Cat creeping in the background. <laughs> um, and then obviously I'm taking some TP. Hey, Ask. Hey, bud. <laughs> taking some TP with me. Um, they do actually have a vault toilet there. Uh, so I probably don't need this, but I want to take it because you don't ever want to show up. And for some reason they didn't stock it and then you can't can't wipe your butt that's not good so i've taken tp with me um i got some trash bags in here uh that i can use to put inside my bag to put my stuff in in case uh you know it's getting wet so my my, my gear doesn't get wet and i don't have to dry it out and then my high class first aid kit it's just a plastic baggie i got some gauze some band-aids uh, i got tylenol i got ibuprofen in here and then i'm actually probably going to throw some melatonin in here to help me sleep at night i don't always have a problem but i mean even at home i have trouble sleeping sometimes uh, so I was going to try and take that this time and see if that helped me sleep out in the trail as well. Um, I always have my trusty compass on here. Sure, never really need it, but you never know. I am just going on a hike here right down the road, not far from my house, through the state park. I am going eight miles from the Waterloo State Rec area uh, to, was it Green Lake or something like that, over by Chelsea, Michigan. It is an eight mile there, eight miles back. I will hike out. I will stay the night. At a campsite that I reserved, unfortunately, you're not allowed to just camp anywhere on state land, so I had to reserve a camp spot. Uh, so I'll have a fire ring and everything when I get there. Um, hopefully, I can find a couple trees that are suitable for my hammock. If not, I can always set up my tarp as a tent if I have to, and uh, you know, sleep on the ground, obviously. Um, but it's going to be super fun. It's going to be my first real solo trip. I tried a solo trip before, but it just didn't work out for me because everything was just too wet in the area I went to. It was just on some family land, uh, but I'm super excited. Everything in my bag, the weight came out to 17.2 pounds, which is, is pretty good. Uh, not heavy, not light. Uh, so it should be really comfortable for me. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the other things that I'm going to be carrying on me and things that I'm going to be wearing throughout my trip as well, as well as eating. Um, as far as food goes, I don't have everything with me yet. Um, on top of what I'm about to show you, I'm just going to have like some granola bars, maybe some beef jerky and small things like that. So not going to be too whole lot more. My big meal for the trip is going to be a Mountain House chili mac and beef. I have not had the chili mac and beef. Um, I just went on a camp with a friend not too long ago, and uh, I had my first Mountain House meal. It was chicken teriyaki. It was absolutely delicious. So I'm super stoked to try this one out, too. This is going to be really well, really good, and I'm going to enjoy it a lot, I think. Um, as far as gloves go, I'm just taking some cheap, uh, you know, stretchy cloth gloves. Um, nothing special. Uh, I have more gloves if I decide to take them, but I don't know if I'm going to. And then I always carry uh, this on me in my pocket. It's just an Ozark Trail pocket knife. Nothing special. Super nice knife. Um, it was. It's literally only a $5 knife. Um, you can invest and put money into it. It might last longer. I've had this for almost a year now, and I carry it with me every day at work. I use it at work all the time. Uh, I use it throughout my day. All the time when I go places. Um, haven't had any problems with it. I just sharpen it every once in a while. Keep it nice and sharp. Uh, but nothing nothing too bad. So yeah. That's everything. That's my whole pack. Uh, like I said. I'm going to you know, kind of test out. And see how warm I stay in this stuff. Like I said. I don't expect to have any problems with it. Uh, based on the experience I've had in the past. Um, I have another couple items. That I might take with me on this trip. To kind of test out. I got a little stool that I had picked up at a garage sale. That I was, might take along and see. See how it works out in the trail. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions about any of the gear in this video, um, you know, what the brands are that, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. I'm more than willing to answer you, and I will answer you probably quickly too, because I don't get very many comments. So, yeah, definitely drop down. Uh, leave any questions that you have. Or leave any recommendations of gear that you have that are kind of cheap. Like I said, I don't do anything major that I need expensive gear to do. Uh, at least not yet anyways. I want to one day. Um, 
but you know you can go camping in the backcountry uh don't fall into the stereotype that you have to have expensive gear to do it you can get nice gear for a pretty pretty low price and go out there and enjoy yourself and i absolutely recommend it camping is great i love it and it's a good way to get away from all the chaos in the world that we have nowadays so like i said at the beginning if you like camping or hiking drop down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment i'd really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video later